Oh, hello again. Change of plans. Good morning. <laughs> I always see myself for like the first time in a couple hours when I film, so I see how my hair dried. There's the handsome guy. So handsome. Yes, you are. Anyway, Sebastian is off to school. He's bringing lunch. He chose two stickers and put them on his water bottle, and then he also put one in his pocket for his bestie. I will not be there today, so hopefully no drama. He's also gonna buy an ice cream. He did not bring the tissues because he didn't want to have to carry this, so I am going to bring those with me tomorrow. His shoes are barely closing now. Like, they can't, the strap can't fit over his feet. It's partly the hair gets caught in the Velcro, but I just cleaned it out and they're just really not fitting. The only way he can get the straps to stay on is if he keeps the tongue on the outside and the strap on the inside. So I need to go get him a new pair of shoes and he loves those and he doesn't want anything but those. They're like not cheap, but they also have holes in the sides. It's like, what did you do to them? It's not in the spot where you'd expect. But the store doesn't open until 10 and I probably have to drive Jack to school at 8.30. Yeah, it's cold. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. She doesn't want to hear me. Hey Siri. What's the temperature in Celsius? Wow. It just says hey us. Sorry, you don't get to know. <laughs> I think it's maybe like four degrees. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna get Jax's lunch made, make his breakfast, get him off to school, probably by driving, and come home. And then have to go back out to get those shoes. I hate having to go back out today. I'm not sure which combination of things I'm gonna do, but I've got a drawing that's a gift. Right now it just looks like a pretty girl, not like, the actual girl I'm drawing, her specific features come in the detail layer, but it started. Base layer is starting. I also have painting I can work on, making the next set of either clip art or coloring. I do a kids' activity set for Valentine's. And I'd like to braid, I need to, especially because I won't have any time tomorrow with the lunch shift. But yeah, I don't know how the day's gonna go. I also need, the first thing I need to do when I get back home is back up vlogs off my phone because otherwise I won't be able to make this video that you're watching right now. Because my phone will be full, so that's the first priority. Oh, I have work. <laughs> it won't take long. Okay, so backups and work. Change of plans. <laughs> Email came in. I've just been made aware that one of our regular hostesses 
will be out today as well as tomorrow. And tomorrow is covered. Tiny. Did anybody be able to fill in last night? <laughs> now when I noticed this, like it must have come in just after I talked to you, like just. Because I do have an alert set for emails on that thread. But I don't think they buzz my watch when the camera's running. So when I have the time lapse, I don't get the alert sent to my watch too because it thinks I'm looking at my phone because the screen is on. I'm cooking breakfast here. So yeah, when I pulled my phone down, it said 35 minutes ago. I'm like, mm. this was around eight. And I'm like, oh, it's not looking good. I don't think anybody's going to answer. But you never know. I decided to give it another half hour and I did the work I had to do, which wasn't too bad. It was updating text on files. I have a cookie in my pocket. Did you know that? Do you want it? You don't deserve it. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. So yeah, at 8.25 when I finished and I was going to get Jacks off to school, I wrote to them, I was like, sorry, I just got this. Has anybody offered to fill in? I can if they, if nobody does, I'll check with you when I get back from driving my middle schooler to school. And she wrote back while I was driving him. No one has stepped up yet, so I'm gonna eat and then I guess reply. But it's probably gonna be me, which is fine. I'd rather do once a week unless I'm paid for it. And I would love for them to consider me because that would be a great part-time job to add to like freelance stuff, painting and illustrations and stuff, and maybe eventually I wouldn't eat that, but, oh, sorry. I'm just trying to get as far away as I could before the toaster finished, it's so loud. So yeah, I'd love them to consider me, and I feel like saying yes to the volunteering is a good way to make them consider me if they ever hire. So I don't know, but I'm gonna eat. My egg's probably burning, I need to turn up the heat. I do like it a little crispy. I'm gonna go. Hello. Hopefully I can keep this short because I'm so tired. 
I'm so tired, friends. <sighs> okay, so you know that I ended up going and working one shift, I think. <laughs> yeah, so basically I found out when I was waiting to take Jax to school that they needed somebody and no, nobody replied. Right before I, I drove him, I emailed and said, I can do it, but just let me know if somebody actually emails, because I'm doing tomorrow. So I think she understood what I meant. I was like, since I'm already doing tomorrow, if somebody else volunteers, of course, give it to them. But no, <laughs> nobody did. So I ate breakfast and then emailed and said I could do it. And I tried to work on a portrait some more. It's not clicking. I need some lip balm and I think I left. No, nope, I put it up here. Okay, I was thinking it was in my sweater when I was volunteering, but then it wasn't. So I think I used it when I was in the bathroom and just had a habit to put it back. Can I do this with one hand? I'm using it as a mirror. Okay, so. Yeah, the, the portrait I'm doing is not clicking, so I might need to start over. I'll try a little bit more on the shading, but so far it's not coming together like it should. Mom, apparently this is too heavy to hang on the door. Yeah, don't hang it on the door, that'll hurt it. Well, then what will I try? Just lean it up on your Lego table or... Make a space on your table. There's no reason to have that much stuff on your table. I don't know. Put it at the end of your bed. Your your feet don't reach all the way. Anyway, I had to stop that. Put my hair up. And every time I have my hair off to the side, it makes my necklaces spin in a circle. So that about five minutes later, all of the little clasps are down there. It's really annoying because this is an easy hairstyle to do. It's falling apart at this point, but and the kids really like it. <clears throat> so yeah, had to get ready and then headed there. The school added some extra security over the weekend. Now you buzz in, you're in like a vestibule between the doors, you buzz in again. You go to the security desk and get your ID. And then you can't get into the school anymore without somebody going over and putting their badge to open the door. So that's good. The kids also will have to wait to get into the office. That's where like the nurses' office and stuff. But that's a good thing. That's a good security measure. Then yeah, headed to the lunch shift. I brought those tissues with me. And when Sebastian's teacher came to get him after his lunch shift. She said thank you so they did make it to her i just left them in the office with her name on it lunch shift was good they weren't as crazy as the last one that i did which was a friday before a long weekend and apparently they were down one person on last friday which was before a four-day weekend at the end of the grading period when they had all had parties i was already volunteering that morning at the party so I don't know, they never emailed to ask anybody for volunteers. So she said it was just the two of them. <laughs> but last year they had four. And so if somebody was out, they would just go down to three and they didn't need anybody. They made it work, but now they only have three. So mm -mm. anyway, I, I chose to do my normal section, even though it's like the kindergartners in the front, that was the section that's missing somebody. I'm just used to the big kids and it's also Sebastian's section. He's the youngest group that ends up sitting there. He's like the only group for the earlier shift and then the rest fills up and it gets a little crazy. She's always like, are you sure you don't have to? That section's bigger. I just, I'm used to it. And she comes and helps when we have that quick turnover of table wiping. So I can do it myself, it can get a little tight. It was a little tight, I think I went in the wrong order. And some kids were like, can we sit down? Cause I was still like wiping a few little spots. I'm like, no, that's fine, go ahead. So yeah, it was fine. But I was like already tired. 
because I got woken up multiple times last night. Once was Danny hugging me at like 12.30 or 1.30 or something. So, I mean, you can't be mad about a hug, but I can't sleep very well with somebody's arm over me. I wish I could, but you can't control that, I guess. But I did get back to sleep. And then I woke up at 2.30 because Sebastian was like, Mom, Mom, in my bed. He's like, I had a nightmare. So I told him, you're safe with us. Don't tell me about it right now. Tell me in the morning. Just go to sleep. You're safe. And then he just slept in our bed the rest of the night. <clears throat> so, yeah, got out of the volunteering. And what I had planned to do today is go and buy Sebastian new shoes because he can no longer strap them. I don't know if I talked about it in the morning. They're just too small for his arch. He has to stick the tongue in front of the velcro straps in order to get them closed and the velcro had a really short spot to connect and it's always filled with dog hair so yeah he just needed new shoes we're gonna go up a size i was gonna go to the same store and hopefully get like the same thing though he was like i want the red and black ones so. and the store didn't open till 10 so i was gonna just go midday but obviously i was volunteering so i have between 12:45 and about 2.15 to do the shoe shopping before I had to be back for the bus. So I hurried there <clears throat> and there just really wasn't anything. I looked and looked and looked, looked in the clearance, sent pictures of anything I could find that could possibly work. And Danny's like, no, they're not good. Can you go to the other sh shoe store on the other side of town? <laughs> like, I won't, I don't think I can today. He's like, don't worry, I'll get him from the bus. You go ahead. But then I realized I was so hungry. I had had breakfast, but like just squatting down to read the sizes on the shoes and then standing back up, my legs were feeling like yellow. My arms were tired and heavy, so I'm like, I need to eat. But there's just like a Wendy's right there and there's not much I can eat. So I ate french fries, apple slices, and I ordered a medium pineapple mango lemonade and apparently, medium at a fast food restaurant is not the medium at like a Starbucks that I'm used to. It was like double the amount of liquid. It looked like a venti. Like, what the heck is this? So Sebastian got some after school, but yeah. As I drove over following my navigation to the other shoe store, I ate that and then went through it all over again, sending all the pictures and comparing them and we ended up going with Skechers, a black and red pair. There's a cool black and orange pair, but they were special ones. The same style, but made for wide feet. And they didn't, the 12, it was like the size of a 13 in any other shoe. So he's just barely going up to 12. We didn't need that. But he loves them. I came home and gave them to him and he put them on right away. He's like, these are the best ever. And Pokemon portfolio came that he bought with his Christmas money that his dad chose for him. So he's very excited to put his cards in it. And, oh, my throat just made a weird noise. And then we ordered dinner from, it's attached to a gas station. <laughs> this is called Filling Co. But it is, they, they have a full takeout restaurant. Make breakfast, lunch, dinner, anytime. So it works for us when we're feeling very scattered. Sebastian wanted a hot dog. Jax ended up getting teriyaki chicken, like boneless wings with teriyaki dipping sauce. Jenny got an Italian sub. I got a salad and a cinnamon roll. <laughs> we're in the late part of it. I'm oh, saving part of it. But that was my day. Again, they had an emergency need for a volunteer and I'm wearing these like ripped up, super cozy baggy jeans. <laughs> Probably not in their dress code, but I was already wearing them. I was planning a cozy day, just running an errand, but otherwise just being at home. I wanted to be warm and cozy. These are like a size too big, so I like all the cozy room, but now they need to be washed again instead of worn twice because they are in the dirty zone. Thank goodness for gloves. The gloves are the best. I can touch anything. I can stick my hand in the trash can and then just 
change the clothes. And I did because somebody threw away their ice cream token or said they did. I don't know. I didn't see any blue tokens coming in and I generally look at everything that comes in. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. That's it. I'm gonna say goodnight because he's probably not changed. He's probably just drooling over his Pokemon cards. <laughs> But right now I'm enjoying that he likes them. They're fun to collect and way easier for me to get his prizes. So, yeah. Good night. Tomorrow I'll be volunteering. I also need to write Jax's name on his new gym shirts. I just ordered him because the other ones were just way too small and he just keeps growing. And yeah, don't know what else I'm gonna plan. I need to get more knitting done. I, I don't think I have any more edits. I did have more edits for those labels. I just, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what, what goes on. So, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Stay safe and be kind. Don't forget, wash your hands.